my invisible friends hello and welcome back to our series on electrical engineering today is about a tutorial on the p operator but a very simple one analysis circuit first you see in electrical engineering first courses students are presented with circuits that have dc sources resistors and only one capacitor we call those RC circuits, like this one, like this one. The question in this case, this is a tutorial, remember, is for the circuit on the right, find the differential equation whose solution is the voltage Vc in the capacitor, this voltage here. Let me take the circuit over to the next page. First thing, replace the reactive elements by their P impedances. The impedance of a capacitor is 1 over Cp. 1 over Cp, 100 over P. And then we solve the circuit using MNA modifying or analysis or your method of choice. Choose a reference node, I choose the node one on the top. In this case, I can solve the circuit only one equation, the KCL equation on the node on the top currents entering from the left, 9 minus V1 divided by. 4 currents leaving the node through the middle branch would be V1 divided by the impedance of the branch 2 in series with the impedance of the capacitor 100 over P plus the current on the far right V1 over 2 that equation we solve for V1 like so and then we remind ourselves what we need is not V1 what we need is a voltage Vc in the capacitor well, that voltage we can obtain from V1 using a voltage divider between 2 ohms and 100 over P. That voltage in the capacitor is V1 multiplied by the voltage divider, 100 over P divided by 100 over P plus 2. And look, Vc is given like that, which signifies that we have now the heavy side differential equation for that voltage. Let's write it like this, or perhaps using Leibniz notation. And that is the answer to the question at hand. Find the differential equation whose solution is the voltage in that capacitor. dVc dt plus 30vc equals 90. Another case, an RL circuit. In electrical engineering, first courses, Students are presented with circuits that have DC sources, resistors, and only one inductor. We call those circuits RL circuits, like this one. One source, four resistors, one inductor. The question here is find a differential equation who solutions the current in the inductor IL. Let's take the circuit over to the next slide. My first step is replace the reactive elements by their P impedance for an inductor LP. 10 millis multiplied by P. That is 0 0.01 P. Choose a reference, identify all the other nodes, select the direction for the currents you will be using in your KCL equation and write that KCL equation, but before doing that, let me specify the impedance of the inductor Z end. 10 times P divided by 1000. And now we can write the KCL equation currents coming in uh, from the left, 9 uh, minus V1 over 4 currents leaving the node, V1 divided by the impedance of that middle branch, 4 in series with the impedance of the inductor and the current on the right hand side V1 over 2. Solve that equation for V1 but that is not what we need. What we need is a current in the inductor so we need to divide that voltage V1 by the impedance of the branch in the middle like so. Divide V1 by 4 in series with Z inductor simplify and normalize that and that is the differential equation we're looking for, written like this, like that, or using Leibniz notation, the differential equation whose solution is the current in the inductor. 
again same circuit but yet another current this time let's find the differential equation whose solution is the current in the source let's copy the circuit over here the first step's the same replace reactive elements by their p impedances lp for the inductor that is z in the defined on the top of that uh, calculator screen but then this time because it's the current in that solitary source what i'll do is compute the current as the voltage source divided by the impedance seen by that source uh, that is 9 divided by 2 in series with 2 in series with a parallel or 4 in series with z end and 2 and that is the current in the source before normalization you say what's going on the 9p on the numerator we have seen before in the previous movie is zero that means that that is in reality 5400 divided by that hmm let's normalize that for simplification let me run that again i source defined as a normalized version of 5500 divided by 6p plus 3200 that is your differential equation that is the differential equation whose solution is the current in the source why have i done this three times for three different currents observe let me copy those three currents or rather their are differential equations to the same page the differential equation for the current in the inductor on the top for the resistance current on the far right and for the current in the source what do you notice that the coefficients of the differential equation on the left are the same 3 and 1600 right the difference is the right hand side let's read this in a circuit for any current or any voltage the coefficients of its differential equations are the same only the right hand side and of course the initial conditions may be different those coefficients determine the roots of the characteristic equation that is for the future video of course what mathematicians call the eigenvalues of the equation and for us are the eigenvalues of the circuit the eigenvalues of a circuit are characteristic of the entire circuit now in the next video we will move on into solving that differential equation up to this point we work to find for a certain voltage or a certain current what is that differential equation that gives us that current or that voltage in the next video we will aim at solving the differential equation to solve it we will need the initial conditions the eigenvalues and the final value we will see how that works that is not today this is just for the next uh, video for that we'll need the very important concept of dc steady state and the behavior of capacitors and inductors in dc steady state but as i've said before that is in the next uh, video for now all i have to say is goodbye and i hope to meet you again in the next uh, video